Hello people, welcome back to The Magic of Painting with me, uh, Hannah Morgan, which I'm sure a few of you will know. What we're going to be doing today is going through a painting uh, piece by piece and in the end you'll be finished up with a masterpiece. Uh, pretty much what you're going to need is just some water for obviously cleaning off your brushes. You're going to need some brushes. I recommend small, medium and large. And then the colours we're working with today are going to be uh, pretty autumnal colours. I'll come up and show you this. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be working with, you can't really see in this light here, sorry. But purple, red, yellow, black, white and orange. Um, I suppose we're just going to get straight into things. If you need to pause this video, that's fine. I'm going to be painting at great speed. Um, but I hope you all enjoy and let's get going. So first of all, we're going to take the biggest brush that we have here. And what I'm going to do is just going to start getting in, blocking in the background, okay? So we're going to start off, first of all, with a wee bit of purple. Just grab it on your brush. Just a nice wee dab. It doesn't matter if it's too much. Um, I always say, just like work with a wee bit of paint work it in and then you can get more you don't want to have a lot of paint sitting on the canvas because then it's never going to dry the paint we're working with is acrylic and um, soluble water so that's why we have the water here obviously for cleaning the brushes but it's for whenever we need to blend maybe a bit more and uh, we can just add a little bit of water easy blending really so with this purple color you're going to be uh, just going you're just skipping the top part of the sky because we want to just blend it into the top a wee bit now this is just, see the first stage of any painting? It's the messy stage. So, well it's pretty much the messy stage until you <laughs> finish the painting. Um, so all you have to do is just bear with it. So we're just going in here, the purple, purple, purple. And then what we're doing here is creating a sky background. What we're going to be painting in the end is a mountain scene. But I'm just going to be using these Halloween -y colours so that we can kind of get in the Halloween mood, I suppose. So there's the purple on. What I'm going to do quickly is just grab my water, quick dab of the brush. Now what you're going to need as well is anything really just to dab your wet paintbrush onto. So I have a piece of canvas here, you can use a piece of kitchen roll, it's all the same. Now you'll notice, your, see whenever your paintbrush is a wee bit wet, that's going to be great for working in the next colour. So we're just going to come at the canvas with a bit of red. So just a wee dollop. We're going to be coming in underneath the purple with the red. Now you want to make these colours together so that you can start getting more tones. This is just such easy painting, is letting the colours mix together so that it's creating a third colour for you already, you know. In these stages, you're always going in with a wee bit of paint, spreading out as much as you can, and then grabbing more. Because the last thing we want here is a big wet part of the canvas. Because at the moment, what we're doing is building the background, but obviously we're going to have a foreground, so we're going to need the background to be dry for it to actually be able to be painted on top of it. So you're just always working whatever paint you have on the canvas, just into it. So just red working it down again this is the messy enjoyable part it's all enjoyable if you ask me and we're dipping our paintbrush again here because we're moving on to the next color and we're going to be going for orange dip it on your canvas again or tissue paper whatever you have and then we're going to be grabbing some orange there so orange, same thing again, kind of start just at the bottom of the red, you can go up into a bit of it if you like that colour more. And just keep her lit pretty much until you have just the bottom wee bit left. So always just spreading the paint out. Now obviously I am here flying through this so that it's not an extremely long video for you guys, but honestly, what I recommend is just taking your time, especially with this part, because you can keep working at the colors and maybe make three or four different ones if you wanted to. Right now, uh, I'm just gonna clean my paintbrush again. We're still using the big paintbrush, I will tell you, as if we're changing. Just whenever you're trying to block in colors, the only way to go is the bigger the better, really. Just saves you time and effort. So we're cleaning that paintbrush off. We're just going in with the yellow now. So just 
grab a wee bit of yellow. And then popping it on just to the bottom of the orange. Look at that. Oh, those colors would just definitely tear anybody up. And like normally, whenever I'm painting myself, like I wouldn't be painting using yellow that much. Uh, actually during the week, I kind of <laughs> explored cadmium yellow a bit more. I usually stick to blues and greens, but honestly, you see whenever you're painting yellow, you just can't stop yourself from just feeling happy, like feeling those yellow vibes. Okay. So, what I would do here is just go from the bottom, so I've got all the bottom of the canvas covered. I'm just gonna go from the bottom without even cleaning my brush. I'm working up the waves, just going literally side to side motions. Like this is not a hard technique. We're literally dragging the paintbrush across the canvas here. Nothing special. I just really wanna make sure that this is as dry as possible so I can actually add another layer onto it. Now, for a bit of paint mixing fun, I suppose. So the top part of the canvas, I we're gonna do it a bit darker, uh, and obviously the darker of the colors that we're using today are black and purple. Now, I would normally put black straight on, but it's a bit, uh, people get a bit scared of black, let's just say. So we're just gonna clean off that paintbrush, uh, then dry it off on your wee rag, whatever you have there. And now we're just gonna go into the middle of your palette here, or you can get a second palette, whatever you need. Now, a wee bit of black, because obviously it's the darkest color. So, if you use all black, you're gonna be painting black, but we want kind of like a purpley black here. So you're just grabbing a wee bit of purple and black until you find a color that you like. And it obviously is darker than what we have on the canvas already, but just not quite black. And then you're gonna to wanna to go in with that. Just black can be pretty harsh, especially <laughs> for people, maybe this is your first time painting, people just be scared of throwing it on the canvas. Now we will be using it a lot in the foreground obviously to bring out um, different shapes and textures but we'll not go too mad here. So if you want to you can throw a wee bit of black at the very top just to really darken it down. Okay now this is the thing right you could look at this and you might think oh no like I'm right now thinking that's a bit too much black so I'm just gonna literally clean off my brush and then just go and let it really blend in. My brush is still kind of wet here, so it's blending in with that purple, so it's just not as severe a black. So at any stage, if you feel like you're a bit uh, gone over with the color you, you have on it, all you have to do is just mix a wee bit of water into it. That'll lighten the color up. Yeah. That's pretty much our background done. And I'm gonna let it dry for a few minutes. And I'll come back to you with the second half. 